Hi, welcome everyone, and today, yeah, today's topic, as you can see, is Creator Companion. We have to go through that one as well, because uh, I gotta tell you, this tool is actually quite amazing for uh, those who want to make want to make avatars, okay, um, it, or worlds. It's specifically made for that uh, that specific reason. So yeah. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's begin. So right off the bat, like we will have to go for the set the setup of the RC Creator Companion, which then will like detect your Unity version and your like uh, I think that's saved as well, but mostly it's a Unity version and it lets you to create like uh, leads you to create a first project. But we can skip all of that. Uh, if you want to, if you probably like have, you want to install Unity after you install and create a companion, which is understandable, you can do it. So yeah, but uh, the first setup is really easy. It's quite straightforward. Um, that's why I think I'm gonna skip that one. If not, I'll just uh, drop like a setup of it, and and so. Uh, but yeah, let's go with the main thing. So, the first category uh, is projects. Here will be uh, will be everything you need, every project you made. So, right, uh, right on top we have project name. We can uh, do this, like we can uh, click on this he uh, thing here and we can uh, make it um, like list alphabetically. Then there is a project type what Unity version it uses, and when was it last modified. And then we have a couple of options like, yeah, open project, manage project, we, which we will go through in a second. And we have a couple more options like open project folder, create backup, or entirely remove the project. Not delete the project, because uh, deleting the project has to be done manually. Um, we just remove project from here. Because, for example, there are some projects you don't want to do for create a companion or so. Uh, there are stuff like this. Uh, also, we have a list view, or we can change it to grid view. So we have a different view of our avatars, our projects. But I am more sticking with the list view. Here we can create a new project, and we can also click here to add existing project. Because, for example, if you had re reinstalled your creator companion, all of your projects are going to be gone. And you can add those projects manually one by one by literally uh, adding existing projects. So you have to navigate to your Unity project uh, things. And as you can see, I have a couple of projects. So for example, this one is not in the, in the list. So I can just go to the folder. And as long as, long as I see those folders, I can click select folder. And it will be added automatically to the project. Um, so yeah, that's the main setup. Let's go and try to create a new project. So in that case, we will create a new project. And here we have a couple of options. Considering uh, Create a Companion yet, still yet supports Unity 2019, you have also option for avatars and worlds in Unity 2019. Although those two have this significant difference between both, like uh, which version of Unity it is and what type of uh, project you want to make. So yeah, as you can see, it says 2022 and Worlds, and it has a bit like a bit of a better icon compared to like 2019, where it was like yeah, uh, Worlds. Same goes with Avatars, and yeah, this one is more uh, greenish, uh, and this one is just uh, like uh, like the text and uh, those are plain white so yeah right off the bat here is the project name uh so if you're gonna type something um in in my case for example if i'm gonna name something it al already like tells me like save the data from two different projects i had so yeah it won't let you create two the same projects then project location i do really strongly recommend change, uh, changing the path and making one massive folder for every Unity project and not store it in your local app data because that's going to be painful and I 
bet you don't want to keep your projects in your in your uh, Windows uh, installation uh, drive. So you can click here, pick a new folder, and uh, start to categorize your project. Because trust me, it is really important to categorize stuff, you know, unless you will have a mess. So once you create a project, um, there will be a screen like this. So here, for like uh, what we have here is massive amount of things we can add to this project. And depending on the project, it's either the, the the avatar project or the world project. We have different components we can add. And as you can see, there's also like there are also repositories like the state of the repository if it's official, curated, or this is a community repository you can add, uh, which will be also in a second. Uh, you can by default you have VRC SDK base and package resolver resolver tool. But depending on the on the project type, it will be SDK avatars or SDK worlds. And yeah, you, uh, for the avatars, uh, there are also like multiple things you can add. And for the worlds, is the same. Different re repos, different uh, things. And yeah, uh, you just gotta know which one is for which. Also, uh, this little little check mark here. Um, shows like this package have been by default added to the VRC created companion and this one as you can see doesn't have a check mark so it's like added from like a, a outside repository so yeah we can add some stuff we can see which version of SDK is uh, added like those two will be actually switched when you create a project because I only manage it since I yeah um, I don't want to create a new project but yeah, uh, here you will have the same as it's here. You can select which SDK version you want to use, which uh, recommended is the latest. But yeah, different people do different things. And probably there are some features in uh, earlier SDK that works <coughs> that doesn't work on the new one, which happens because this is VRChat. Um, sometimes there are bug bugs that we cannot predict. Mm. And yeah, once you are done, you can open your project. Mm. Now, let's go to the tab Learn. Here are like multiple like uh, tutorials of what you, how you can uh, you can learn more about particular topics. So yeah, the, the entire creative companion thing is here. Uh, Udon, if you are making worlds, world guides, avatar guides, uh, some engine updates, their Discord, and yeah, official creator forums. If you want to check it out. So yeah, see, here are some things you can actually check. If I'm going to go, for example, to create a companion, learn more. There will be a, a VCC docs uh, with all of what they actually like give you about everything and stuff. Um, okay, now uh, I think as we've been in projects, I might as well just mention how to add like a custom repositories. So, for example, I want to add the repo of uh, some stuff, like, for example, Liltune, some VRC Fury, and a modular avatar. For modular and Liltune, is really straightforward. You just go here and click the creator, install through creator companion. And once you click it, um, it opens this thing, and you can open creator companion, and it will show you this. Uh, and, uh, yeah, since I already have it, uh, I cannot add this uh, again, but yeah, uh, there will be like a community repository that I can select both and just add. Um, so yeah, uh, going back to even like a mod I, I have modular avatar as well. And VRC Fury, uh, we can also add those manually, which will be also in a second. Like manually for the settings. Uh, from another tab, we have tools, and this uh, for now there's only one tool that is VRC Quick Launcher. If we open it, it opens this small window with VRC Quick Launcher, which provides a lot of like different settings um, for your game to run with. So, for example, yeah, I detected like I have a couple of instances. Uh, but like instances actually it de detect the one folder, but it uh, Just detects the one that is executable 
So yeah, in, in my case, it's yeah, Steam library, Steam apps, common VRC, launch, exe. Then we have debug. We can uh, basically get some settings uh, to run with um, and uh, and some other stuff we actually want to, you know, uh, modify here with the launch. So for example, I can just SD uh, log SDK, log Udon, uh, limit FPS, uh, assign lo like specific port, uh, yeah, modify the port or IP address VRChat uses for OSC um, using, yeah, import, sender, IP, outport. Um, MIDI, so basically like uh, any like a keyboard uh, or any anything that works on MIDI uh, can be act like added here. Uh, watch avatars, uh, which, yeah, watches the location where the VRC SDK built avatars and automatically changes into the new local avatar created. Which is nice. Um, I, I like this option. And then, yeah, we have instance information. Um, so we can create a new instance. Um, we can join some one instance if we have the, the world ID and instance ID. That, or we can make it local. So only we see it, or we don't create it at all. Uh, actually, all of those uh, have different options. Like, yeah, create. You have everything you need for creating an instance. Then we have joining. Uh, that we uh, can join, like in, uh, or like launch the game. And it will already and it will already send us to this specific instance. Local. It's uh, yeah. It's only. Our local instance and uh, we cannot I assume we cannot go with the online world because I didn't test it and none yeah we we, we just uh, don't do anything with instances and just let VRChat do its own thing with the instances um, at the bottom we also have, like have profiles so we can have multiple profiles which one we actually want to launch with for example I can create a profile uh, one is for desktop uh, and one is for uh, for VR mode, and I can just launch launch them from here. Um, so that is also really nice. Uh, we can categorize uh, and force VR shot to run in a specific way, Un unlike Steam, world when which asks you um, if you want to run through Steam VR or desktop. Okay, we got this done. Uh, we can go to settings because we have a couple of things in settings as well. So yeah, uh, the first one is Unity editors. Uh, so, yeah, we can select the version that VRChat currently supports. As you can see, here is supported. And I have also other v Unity versions for different projects. But VRChat on top will show you which versions are currently supported. Mm, and then, even though, like for, like, for example, I'll switch back to 2019. You see, I have the path for Unity 2019. Then I go to 2022. And I can also select which specific version of 2022 I can run. Since VRChat was previously running on 2022.3.6.f1, I also have this version. And I do have some projects that are still on this version, which still works fine. But then, yeah, the new version, 22.f1. And as you can see, it also shows that it's recommended to you. Mm, then, yeah, files and folders. We can uh, check some stuff here. We can change where the backups of the of the projects are. Um, error reporting settings. Uh, so yeah, for like uh, fixing issues and stuff if you want. And community repo analytics as well. Uh, so you can, yeah, the, the name it just says for itself. Like uh, this app will send the URL of that repo. Uh, of that repo to our analytics service to help us understand how people are using community repos, which are the most popular. Exa for example, it also sends a true false value for whatever a custom header is provided and stuff like that. Just, uh, yeah. Here are the packages. Mm, and uh, here is where we can manually add like our uh, repositories. So we can go here add a repo and in my case for example i'm going back to vrc fury and i can just copy this thing i can just drop it here and i th okay that one is probably request for oh yeah requested headers that's something i don't probably have right now 
but yeah, I can just click add and uh, it will be adding the repository of VRC Fury. And yeah, I understand uh, and I can add and stuff. So here you can add like a custom repositories. I think and here also at the, at the bottom, you can add your user packages. For example, uh, specific shaders, specific uh, packages of things you want to have pre-built, like pre-prepared uh, uh, when you create a project. I, I mean, me myself, I wasn't able to actually successfully do it, but uh, it is definitely, like, I know you can do it. And then appearance, uh, you either use the crime uh, theme or you use the pleasing eyes one or the system one but in my case i have everything dark because yeah i don't want to hurt my eyes at 2 a.m working at stuff um and yeah i guess i guess that's it that's pretty much all about the biggest creating companion oh yeah and small thing this thing will yell at you to update um and yeah we we'll keep recommending updating because uh, if you update, the SDK will also by default will be updated. So, for example, in my case, uh, when I create a project, uh, the SDK is on a bit older version. Um, and I need to manually switch to the newer one. But the problem is something itself and um, cannot even update. So I have to reinstall entire creating companion, which happens. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah. And with that, yeah, that's pretty much it about creating companion. There is nothing else I can add to this thing. So, yeah. Y'all take care. And uh, see you in the next episode or something else. And as always, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for our coffee uh, members uh, for supporting our channel. Also, thanks our server boosters. And uh, yeah, leave your opinion in the comments. Stay tuned for the next video. And we will see you in the next one.